Hello there biology students and welcome to our video covering ecology, the definition of, and some basic ecological principles. Okay, uh, some of the basic ecological principles that we're going to knock out today are going to be abiotic and biotic factors, uh, habitats, and what is a niche, and we're also going to look at ecological hierarchy. Okay, so like the structure or pecking order of ecology um, from top to bottom or bottom to top and how we kind of use that hierarchy to assist us in our explanation of ecology and also our study of ecology. So first, the definition. What is ecology? Ecology is a study of interactions between living organisms and their non living or physical environments okay so you're doing some biology because you're studying life living organisms but you're also doing a little bit of geology and geography because you're studying those living organisms and their non-living environments the physical geological features uh, that do exist around them okay um, so inside the definition we have a clear-cut life side and we have a clear-cut non-life side any factor or feature that we refer to that is living, we call it a biotic factor. B-I-O-T-I-C. Biotic factor. Living factors in an ecological situation or an ecological discussion. Anything that is non-living, anything that is on the non-life side when we're talking ecology, is an abiotic factor. A-B-I-O-T-I-C. Abiotic factor. Uh, the letter A is a prefix. It's a root word there, and that letter A means non, okay, or not, or not the normal of. All right. Uh, so anytime we're talking of a, a living factor inside of an uh, ecological situation, we're talking a biotic factor. Anytime we're looking at a non-living factor or feature, we're talking an abiotic factor. So uh, real quick, what would be some biotic factors that we could find in the study of ecology? Animals, that's always one of the first answers there. Uh, both big and small, microscopic and macroscopic, as I like to refer to it. Uh, plants, fungi, bacteria, and other single-celled organisms. What are some of the non-living or abiotic factors? Rocks, minerals, Soil, water, sunlight, weather, climate, and geological formations and geological structures. Those would typically be your abiotic factors. So, we've broken down the definition of ecology into the living and non-living features that we will study the interactions between. We say that word environment, though, and it needs to be described a little bit further. What is an environment in which an organism lives in? We call that a habitat. A habitat is the home and or environment at which an organism lives in. And it's a term that's going to show itself through the duration of this unit. So be familiar with it. Now, each organism has its home, has its environment. It has its habitat. And within that habitat, it carries out a certain job, a certain duty. It has a certain purpose. We call that purpose or that job its niche, N-I-C-H-E, niche. So right now at home, that's your habitat. Your house is your habitat, and you have a certain niche. Maybe the middle child, the eldest, the youngest. There's all those stereotypical purposes and, and, and uh, duties that different levels of children carry out, okay, um, but you have a niche at home, all right, um, right now here at school, uh, this is my habitat, and my niche is teacher, that's my purpose, so uh, we can come up with several examples that are kind of like our daily life compared to nature, um, but uh, flies, the flies that have been flying around the school right now, uh, their habitat is this surrounding, the school building, and they serve a certain purpose, Okay, they're assisting in the uh, removal of certain waste on the surfaces and the decomposing and or breaking down, the decaying, the assistance of that, of uh, various waste materials that lie across the surfaces of the school building. So, although they can be annoying, they serve a certain purpose 
they have a niche. Last item of uh, topic here for this video is the ecological hierarchy at which we will study this unit. Uh, we start off with the organism, the individual organism, um, a group of the same organisms, a species if you will, uh, the total amount of them would be considered a population. Populations of different organisms interacting with each other in the same area, the same habitat, we call that a community or a biological community. Different biological communities are similar, somewhat similar, different, minimal differences. Similar biological communities interacting with each other placed in the same type of weather and climate and same type of geological and geographical area. We call that an ecosystem. Ecosystems that share similar traits in geographic and geological areas and similar um, inhabitants, individuals that live in that habitat. We call those biomes. And then the biomes of the planet help to create the biosphere the layer of life that extends across the surface of this planet and down a little bit into the subsurface and up a little bit into the atmosphere. That's our ecological hierarchy in which we will, breaking, we will break down this unit and it's typically a method at which people approach the study of ecology with. It's important to understand that hierarchy because we'll be in and out of a few of the different levels as we progress through this unit. We just won't start with one and go all the way to the top, okay? We will kind of jump here, jump there, jump here, and jump there uh, as we talk about different species-to-species -species interactions, population-to-population -population interactions, um, individual interactions between different organisms inside a biological community. Um, so a, a plethora of topics that will be covered. Um, some will span a couple of the levels of ecological hierarchy. Some will stay within one level. Okay, but make sure you have a firm grasp of the ecological hierarchy. That does it for this video. Make sure you feel comfortable with uh, those major topics that the video has covered. Okay, the definition of ecology, biotic and abiotic factors, habitats, niche, biodiversity, and ecological hierarchy. Those four items. See you guys later.